okay. I can't tell if I'm getting shot at. Uh, he's close. Let's go ahead. Where's he at? Oh, I can see him. Oh, that is intense. Let's go ahead and go into our mode here. I believe it's going to be the one key on this one. Uh, there it goes. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lift, lift, lift. And here comes our target. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some really awesome creations. Now today's theme, uh, we're going to mostly, and I do say mostly because we'll probably stray off at the end, but I think we're going to stay right around the World War II aircraft. Uh, I think we're going to maybe do some dogfighting. I've got a craft here, we're about to actually do a bombing run. Which, uh, this is gonna be pretty cool if this works right. So yeah, we're gonna be checking out a ton of cool creations today. Now, I do apologize if I sound a little off today. Uh, over the weekend I had a, uh, kind of a sinus infection, and, and I don't think I'm quite over it yet, but I feel good enough to record, but I might sound a little bit weird, so hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah, if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and if you have any suggestions for future themes for Simple Planes, comment below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, so for our first creation here, we have the Mitsubishi 34M3. Now, this is a Japanese bomber. You're probably looking at the uh, the little bomb down here. And yes, that is a pilot-driven bomb, or kind of like a missile, I believe. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to see if this actually works in the game. I believe it will. I believe this is like the uh, Zeppelin creation we uh, tried out a couple of days, actually it was a couple of weeks ago, uh, where we launched the planes from it. This is going to be a little bit different though, because that is a bomb. We're going to attempt to hit, uh, I guess, an aircraft carrier or maybe a destroyer with it. But I just want to see how this works here in Simple Planes. So yeah, this was uh, one of those things that happened in war that was just not very pleasant, but it did happen. And let's go and let's get up in the air. Uh, let's see. Okay, that actually took off quite well. I kind of figured that was going to make it stumble a bit. Oh, let's put those up here. So yeah, a pilot would be inside of this. They would drop it. It would activate the thrusters. And I'm assuming they do have steering to them. So they would they were able to actually steer into uh, ships. So we're going to get up in the air here. Let's go ahead and climb. Kind of curious if it has good range. Like what kind of fuel capacity does that little thing have? All right, let's go ahead and go through the cameras real quick. You got your chase view here. There's orbit. This is the front gunner. Yeah, you've got that. You've got what appears to be a tail gunner, I believe. Uh, oh, there's the tail. Okay, that might have been the turret on top. Here is the... Yeah, this is the camera for the little plane. Uh, let's see. That's the cockpit for it. There's another outside cam, flyby. Oh, I didn't realize this actually has somewhat of a detailed cockpit. That's kind of cool. All right, so I believe one and two are what you're going to use to, uh, one releases the bomb, two activates the thruster on the back, I believe. And three, I believe, is used for, I believe, this turret. Yeah, it activates the top turret here, which, uh, you've got the little wing turret. Can I, oh, you can turn it with the, uh, VTOL controls. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. All right, so there's our targets over there to the right, and I believe we are ready to launch here. Let me go ahead and get a different angle. That way we're launching directly at them, and we'll see what kind of range this uh, bomb has. All right, we are lining up with the uh, targets here. Let's go ahead and level off. There we go. Almost there. All right, let's go get to the uh, camera. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is going to be cool or I'm going to fail at doing this. We're going to see here. Let's go and angle up a bit. Okay, we're ready to drop. Let's go ahead and drop. Uh-oh. Uh there it is. Okay, there's the drop. Ooh. Oh, this thing does steer haul. There we go. This is probably the view we need to be in. Oh. 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 Oh, this thing is uh, really finicky. Oh, I need to switch cams again. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is an additional cam for uh, the rocket. I kind of thought it was a cam for the, uh, the plane itself. Alright, so here we go. This is going to be our approach here. Oh, uh, this would have been so frightening to see. Alright, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lift, lift, lift. And here comes...
becomes our target. Ooh! Oh, that actually exploded! You know, it seems like a lot of crafts don't do that. Wait, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, oh, they're targeting the, uh, the bomber. Oh, this is gonna look bad. There it goes. <gasps> Ooh, boom! I'm gonna try to zoom in on that footage. That was kind of epic looking. You know, I'm really surprised that actually exploded on impact. Uh, if you've watched my episodes before, you've seen that I've tried to do this with other planes, but that one must have had everything in the right spot, or that thing actually was just completely a bomb with the cockpit on it. I'm not really sure how they uh, how they achieved that, but you can see the aircraft carrier is going down. So that was a mission accomplished. Now I do have one more version of this plane that I'm going to pull out. It's got a little bit different uh, bomber on the bottom, and the plane itself looks a bit different. So uh, let's go grab it. All right, here we go. We've got one more version of this plane, except for I do want to say it's like maybe a different year model or something. It looks somewhat similar, but the uh, the plane itself is smaller, and the uh, the cockpit area is a little bit more longer looking. You know, I'm not really sure. I'm really interested in the bomb here. The bomb does look quite a bit different than the last one we just played with. So let's go ahead and get up in the air, and let's see what happens here. Oh. Oh, this is gonna take a bit. All right, so I think we're gonna go after the same targets. Uh, let's see if this one's gonna lift here. Waiting. Got my flaps up. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was an awesome looking takeoff. I like those realistic looking takeoffs where it takes a while for it to actually get off the ground. Uh, you get some planes and simple planes where it's like, you go like five feet and you're up in the air. That was satisfying to see. All right, let's go ahead and check cameras real quick. We've got our main cam here, it's orbit cam, flyby. Okay, ooh, that's the cockpit view on here. Does it have guns? I doubt these little things have guns. Uh, you've got that chase view. Okay, so it's just oh, this is the only camera that's on the uh, on the bomb, huh? All right, that's a thing. You know, we're gonna probably just try to launch it from here. Well, let's check the uh, maneuverability of the uh, actual bomber. Feels pretty good, actually. That's a really stable plane. I kind of sway back and forth, back and forth. Try making a kind of a bank turn here. Ah, that is a very smooth plane. The uh, the wind doesn't fight it a lot. All right, so looks like I'm controlling both of the craft. You can see the bomb at the bottom, how it's moving. Uh, I don't. Does it actually pull up and down? I'm assuming it does. I think I see flaps for that. All right, so I think we are ready to launch it. Looks like it's got three thrusters in the back. Let's go ahead and go into our mode here. I believe it's going to be the one key on this one. Uh, there it goes. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is the one that activates with group two. Oh, no. Come on. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. <gasps> what? That worked? We saved it. Okay, I got my controls mixed up. I thought the last one is the one that I had to manually activate the thrusters on the bomb. It's this one. Oh, jeez, this thing is fast. I do like how the camera actually separated itself, too. All right, so, oh, we got to make a turn here. Our targets are, like, way over here. Yeah, this thing does not have a lot of fuel, so we got to be pretty much on target. Oh, it's so finicky. This is going to be uh, kind of hard to hit the uh, aircraft carrier. Come on, come on Komodo, you can do this, you can do this, uh, oh, this is ridiculous, uh oh, come on, uh, yes, we got it, we hit it, did it actually, was it enough of an explo- oh, I don't think it was enough of an explosion, yeah, I don't, I don't think that one has the same impact as the other, hold on, let, can we get up to the bomber, oh, is there a camera for the bomber, no, the bomber's gone, I was kind of hoping we could swap back over to that, Oh, there goes the cockpit. Oh, this thing is traveling very fast. Yeah, that one, uh, even though, I mean, we did hit the aircraft carrier, it didn't have the same explosive effect as the first plane. Uh, still cool, nonetheless, being able to use something like that. Are we going to hit the island over here? Here we go. Here comes the island, and... <laughs> oh, we just bounced off it. All right, so I think it's time to get into some fighters. So let's go ahead and let's maybe do a dogfight here. Alright, so we're about to have a World War II face-off here. I've got the P-40, and we're going to go against the BF-109, the German aircraft. Oh, uh, this is going to be pretty cool here. Alright, so, 
You know, last time it spawned them right behind me. Let's go into not cockpit. Okay, chase view. Oh, this is a beautiful plane, by the way. Look at the paint job on that. Uh, said retract landing gear. My landing gear stuck? Or does landing gear not come up on this plane? I thought it did. Kind of looks like there's slots for it. Huh. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go locate. Oh, what was it? What was it? What? You're supposed to try to shoot me, not run into me. That was a. Wait, is he still okay? That was a demolition derby I just got ran into. Okay, we're gonna play that again. All right, so our opponent's right up in the air. Okay, now he's firing at me. Really? Like he went from uh, just doing a straight up run into me to now he's actually shooting. So, ooh, this uh, this P40 here. I'm not sure this thing's that maneuverable. I would say maybe it's the uh, landing gear sticking out, kind of messing with the aerodynamics, but I can't retract those for some reason. There's not a, a separate button. He doesn't have this mapped another way, does he? Uh, oh, okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. Oh, okay. I'm um, just checking my groups here. Uh, no gear. Okay, the gear's stuck. Okay, so we're gonna have to quit worrying about the gear. And let's face off against this German aircraft. Let's go ahead and go to, uh... Oh, you can see us. Oh, he's gonna be behind me here. Alright, so we're in the cockpit view. He is right behind me. Don't run into me again, ding dong. <laughs> we're supposed to shoot at each other, not run into each other. Alright, it feels like we're doing an endless circle around each other. Are we doing that on orbit view? Where is he at? Oh, that looks so epic. Yeah, he's just... He's on my tail right now. He doesn't quite have the shot if I continue doing this kind of dev spiral. You know what, we're gonna pull out of this. Let's see, let's go ahead. Okay. Let's go hard left. Okay. Oh! Oh, that was a good hit! Hey, he knocked off one of my landing gear. Thanks, buddy! Man, it feels like he has the upper hand right now. It just It definitely feels like his plane's a little bit more maneuverable than mine is. Uh, hon, huh, he's out of a ways now. I might be able to target him. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he is, there he is. Uh, man, he has the upper hand right now. Okay, I need to find a way. I'd like to lead him out a bit. He's on my tail again. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to take this uh, fight to the, oh, to the cliffs here. Okay, he's behind me, he's targeting me. Gonna keep moving here, keep moving. All right, pull forward. Let's make him maneuver here. Oh, he's just unforgiving. Wow, come on. Man, that plane is good. Okay, so we're gonna try to break. Okay, he's out pretty far now. I might be able to target him. Come on, I gotta get back to him. Here we go, face off. Uh... Oh, I got some hits on him that time. All right, that's the only way we can play this right now. We get away, oh no, he's already turned around. Okay, uh, let's send him down towards the airport here. Straight nose dive, pick up some speed. Uh, wait, wait. I'm gonna try to make him uh, crash land here. Come on, wait. Okay, pull up. Uh, uh, waiting, waiting. No, 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 no. Okay, pull up. Come on, crash, crash. Did he? No, he stayed above me. Oh wow. Okay, we need to break away from him again. This is an intense dogfight. Yeah, he's a. Uh, his plane feels like he's maneuvering him quite a bit better than I am. Actually, he's getting a ways out now again. This might be our chance. Here we go. Uh, I need to be in the cockpit for this. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Okay, is he down? He's smoking. No, he's behind me again. Come on. I need him just to explode here. All right, come on. Let's maneuver around. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We're getting into the cockpit here. I need to be able to aim. Uh, okay. I can't tell if I'm getting shot at. Uh, he's close. Let's go ahead. Where's he at? Oh, I can see him. Oh, that is intense. Come on, buddy, just explode. Uh, I wonder what's, is it his fuselage that's damaged or did I hit the motor? If I hit the motor, he's got a really good motor because he's still coming at me. All right. Uh, oh, oh, he's going down. I think he's going down now. Uh, yeah, he's definitely, he lost control. He has lost control of it, Han. Let's get a view of this. Uh, oh, no, he has it. He's trying still. His plane is sideways. Oh, he quit smoking. What does that mean? Uh, does it mean he's good to go? All right. 
Let's pull out this way. And we're going to try to get another run on him. Let's check him one more time. Uh, is he turning? Uh, oh, yeah, he's definitely turned. Okay. All right, waiting, waiting. Okay. You know, he's got to have something good damaged here. Let's go ahead and do a big circle here. All right, we're definitely faster than him. We pulled him a lot that time. Here we go. Uh, spray, spray, st oh! <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, who won? It looks like we're both going, did he really recover? No! No, that is ridiculous. Oh, and crash landing. Uh, get it up, get it up, pull up. Oh, that is ridiculous. That plane is so strong. I really thought we had him there. No, come on, dude. I'm like dead in the water here. You know, if I could turn around, that would be amazing. Uh, 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 oh no, oh no, come on. Come on, crash, crash, you need to crash. Ah, uh, he's pulling out of it. I can't believe he's still maneuvering. All right, we need to land this. Let's go and do water landing. Uh, come on, come on. Ooh. Oh boy, that was an amazing dog fight. Yeah, he got the best of me there. It was me and the third person. I was having, probably should have went to the first person there now that I think about it. Yeah, I was having uh, some issues trying to keep that stable aim. The plane wasn't stable after he blew off that landing gear though. It did not like to fly in a straight line. All right, let's get another show down here. All right, so I'm gonna see if I have a little bit more luck here. We're still gonna go against the BF-109, but I've got the F4U Corsair. Now, I've tried one of these on the channel before. Uh, this is a new one. I really do like the paint job on this. It's got a really nice navy paint job. And Oh, does this thing have rockets? Oh, I believe it does. Oh, I believe he's behind us right now. Okay, hold on, we gotta maneuver out of this. All right, let's go ahead and check. Yeah, we've got eight air to ground. Oh, man. Okay, we need to pull out. See, I can't have my, uh... Uh-oh, wait, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Where is he at? Uh... Well, this is a very bad start. I don't... Oh, there he is. Why am I not able to actually hit him? Like, I'm not selecting him tar... There it is. Okay, so I got him target-wise. All right, so we've probably already failed this. Let's go ahead and pull up. Pull up. Come on. Oh, there is something completely damaged on this plane. All right, if I could get... Can I swing around him? Come on. Uh, oh, this thing doesn't even want to fall correctly. All right, come on. Come on, where's he at? Need to take him down. I am, I am on fire right now. This is... Oh, that was violent. Oh, yeah, I would say we were critically damaged there. Oh, man. That was awesome. All right, let's uh, give that another attempt. All right, so we are gonna attempt the same fight here, except for we're gonna be using the Dauntless. Now, I know the Dauntless was not really too big of a fighter. It was more like a, uh, uh, I guess it was like a torpedo bomber. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna attempt this. Uh, this one actually feels pretty maneuverable, actually. Uh, ooh, it's got a tail gun on it. Does the tail gun work? I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, oh, that was our payload. Okay, well, we really didn't need the payload. Wow, we're nine miles out? Okay, let's go and check the cockpit. Oh, this one's got a bombing camera? Oh, we're definitely gonna have to go bomb something here in a second. All right, let's go ahead, just kind of test this out, get a feel for it. Uh, two guns here in the front. Very, very detailed cockpit here. That is awesome looking. All right, so let's kind of line up our crosshairs here. Two miles. Uh, all right, let's go and start pepper in here. It's probably a little too far out. I don't want to take any chances. There we go. He's peppering me. I'm peppering him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're hitting each other. Oh, oh we're both on fire. Wait. Where'd he go? Okay, hold on. What's on fire? Oh, the whole plane's on fire. Wait, what about him? No, he's turned around again. This, oh, I'm, no. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, engine, fire back up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is terrible looking. Oh, uh, no. This German fighter is gonna be the death of me. Oh, is he going down or is he pulling back up? 
man, that thing is amazing. I don't want to choose it because that, you know, I want to be able to defeat it. I don't want to fight fire with fire here. I want an American aircraft to defeat it. We're going to try the Dauntless again, even though it's probably not ideal for this. Probably it would like to have like a P-51 or something, but we're going to do it again. All right, so I have a secret weapon here. I'm going to activate my uh, tail gunner too. Uh, I hope he doesn't hit the plane. That's all my only concern about that, but we're going to see if that helps us out here. Oh, are we going to face right off here? All right, come on. Oh, we're going to be aimed right at each other again. All right, let's go ahead and start lighting him up. Come on. we got to take this dude down. It's been way too much. Uh, uh, spray a little to the right. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, he hit me. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what's something's damaged? Uh, what's up with our landing gear? Oh, that's not good. All right, let's pull up. Oh boy. What? Really? I don't know if we can defeat this, folks. That is the most trouble that I've ever had with AI on simple planes. That is ridiculous. All right, here we go once again. BF 109. He's about two miles out, so he's pretty much he's kind of in range it's more like about a mile and a half out there we go we're peppering each other come on just get a good shot on him oh I know I hit him there come on uh, oh he's hitting me oh come on if we could just take each other out I'll be fine with it oh I know I'm hitting him oh oh come on pull up pull up no wait is he is he down too Hold on uh, I know we just lost our propeller uh, oh boy Hold on, let's get out camera wise. Oh, this is bad. You know, this is kind of what I get for using this plane to attempt to fight with. I don't know. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, can I hit him with the tail gunner? Oh, that would be amazing. Trying to hit him, trying to light him up with the tail gunner. You know, I wish the tail gunner had a camera. I don't think it would matter. Oh, he does. Oh, this is. Oh, it's too finicky. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we went down. Yeah, I don't think we're going to best him. Uh, that fighter is just way too strong. Like, normally, I'm decent at these dog fights, but yeah, that BF-109 uh, just has the advantage. Uh, maybe if I had a P-51, we would try it again, but I do want to use this Dauntless one more time. It does have a bomb camera on it, so I think we should test that out. All right, so we're going to take off here from the U.S. Tiny, I believe. Yeah, is this the Tiny? Yeah, the USS Tiny. And we're going to attack the fleet here. Now, we're going to actually use this plane in the way they uh, they should use it, not in the uh, the dogfight mode. Even though it is a pretty capable fighter. I mean, you do have your tail gunner here, which we can use. Now, one thing that does annoy me about simple planes is the whole fact of uh, most of the ships, if not all of them, here in the uh, single player area, the free roam, they all have missile defenses, which kind of stinks when you're uh, a World War II fighter. I know there's a World War II uh, torpedo mission, which maybe we should have done that, but I just want to test out the bomb camera here. So, anyways, we're packing three bombs. You've got uh, it's two of the 25, 100 pound, or whatever the heck it is, and then you got the 50 in the middle. Uh, yeah, okay, so we've got those. Now, I do believe the Dauntless could also carry a torpedo, which I wonder how easy it is to switch those out. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go... Hmm, everything active. Got the tail gunners active. All right, let's go ahead and go into our bomb camera here. Oh, this is the tail gun here. Okay, here's the bomb camera. Now, one bad thing about the bomb camera, it doesn't have a crosshair. So, this is just your line for the bombs. I think the midpoint is right here, so right in this area is where we need to release. Actually, we need to lead it a little bit since we're uh, we're going forward. Alright, so where is the fleet here? Uh, there it is. Go ahead and make a turn here. Oh, buddy. So, we've got straight up bombs. I think we'll have to do more of a, a dive bomb uh, opposed to that really low torpedo run that they do alongside the ship. Uh, but we'll see here. We'll probably hit him uh, from an up-down angle and not across. All right, here we go. Let's go and get into the bomb camera. Uh, looking for our targets here. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, waiting, waiting. Uh, let's go and release. Ooh, I hope I release those right. Hold on, camera, camera, camera. <gasps> Ooh. Did we release in the water? Oh, there we go! 
Oh, we hit a destroyer. Oh, we probably ticked them off. Yep, we ticked them off. And this is where the modern uh, weaponry is about to completely just take us out. Oh. oh. All right, we've got the fleet lined up. I think this is going to be the attempt here, folks. All right, we are lined up. They would probably be lighting me up right now. <laughs> Waiting. We're going to wait to go into bomb cam. All right, seems pretty good. Okay, we are lined up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and drop, drop. Uh, wait for the 50 pounder, because I would like to hit the back one. Come on. Okay, drop it. I think I was off on that last one. Uh, let's see. Waiting. Oh! Oh, that was the hit. Oh, I think our small bombs missed. Oh, they're angry at us now. Oh! Oh, we got the Anthony. Oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, and that's what happens when a World War II craft actually targets a, a modern fleet. I say we did it, but, you know, it wasn't pretty at all. <laughs> But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, be sure to comment below. Maybe we'll do more themed episodes like this. Uh, this was actually pretty fun. I thought maybe we would get to other creations, but we spent so much time in the, uh, the dogfight mode that I think we have enough there. I'm still a little bit salty about not being able to defeat the, uh, the German craft, but I gave it my best. Maybe I should have used a, a little bit different planes. I'm not really sure. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time on Simple Planes.